Now we will be demonstrating the IBUS base 3D one here at Telmo Medical Planet. Demonstrators are Okamura and Dr. Nagai and radiologist Kamura from Sakurabashi Watanabe Hospital. We will demonstrate IBUS base 3D wiring while adding explanations. I will explain our tamoxy CTO region for IBUS base 3D wiring using the experimental beating heart model in Telemedical Planex Odawara. The MOX ATO region is made of 5% agar, whose diameter is 3.0 mm and the length is 20 mm long, and the invisible target by Fulgoro with an inner diameter of 0.4 mm is inserted at the distal part of the MOX ATO region. Then the box ATO region is inserted into the mid RCA of beating heart model, like this. The short triple back IBUS is advanced through the first guide wire that has deviated from the target, like this. And the second guide wire, the 12 gram CTO stiff wire, is accurately navigated into a target using the tip detection method, like this. There is a CTO region made of agar. The length is 20 mm long. There is the invisible target by Fulgoro, whose inner diameter is 0.4 mm, and it is inserted at the distal part of the CTO region. The first guide wire was already advanced outside of this target, and the short tip pullback IBUS was advanced through the first guide wire. A seven frame guide cassetter was inserted and the second guide wire supported by a micro cassette was inserted just before the CTO entrance. We will show you the very accurate CTO wiring using the IBUS base 3D wiring with a tip detection method. I will show you the target on the IBUS image. This time, you can see the target at 5 o'clock. This is a round shape and the inner diameter is 0.4 mm. We will perform a tip detection method for the guide wire to be accurately advanced to the target. I will pull back the IBUS transducer 1 cm proximal. Now I will advance the guide wire to the IBUS transducer level angiographically in 2D. After that, I will check the location of it using the IBUS. I advanced the guide wire one centimeter before the target with the tip detection method. On the IBUS image, the target is at 5 o'clock. But you don't know where the target is on the floor image. With the tip detection method, where the target is on the floor image. The guide wire tip is directly to the right. We will rotate it clockwise for the tip to be facing toward you. Just now the tip is facing toward you. Where is the tip detection method? This is shaft and this is guide wire tip. The tip is directed to one o'clock. Pre rotate the IBUS image for the tip to be directed to 6 o'clock. Just now we are seeing Cine from 6 o'clock. A little bit counterclockwise for the tip to be correctly directed to 6 o'clock. So, further to lumen, we will advance the transducer to the distal part. So, left side, 7 o'clock. So, we are seeing Cine from 6 o'clock, left side in front, left side in front on floor image. Please, the tip detection method. 
The shaft is at 5 o'clock. The tip is directed to 4 o'clock. We are planning to rotate the guide wire counterclockwise to advance the guide wire to this route to the target. The tip was rotated counterclockwise. Please pull back the guide wire because the guide wire tip is going to behind the IBUS. It's okay. Guide wire shaft hits a transducer and the tip is directed downward. The target is here, left side. A little bit pull back and clockwise. Shaft hit the transducer and the tip is this direction. The target is here. Clockwise. We rotate clockwise. I rotate it clockwise. A little bit or this direction. Please advance it. A little bit counterclockwise. Please check the guide wire tip continuously. The guide wire tip is directly to 7 o'clock. You can see the shaft hits the transducer and the tip is directed here. In this situation, this is clockwise. We rotate clockwise. Just now, it was rotated clockwise. Shaft is a transducer on this direction, 7.30. Direction is 7.30. I targeted here. This direction is okay. Or a little bit counterclockwise to the center part of the target. A little bit more counterclockwise. You can see the guide wire tip is on the target. Please advance the IBUS to check the distal part. We will check the chip. The tip is here. A little bit clockwise on the center part of the target. We got the target. You can see we got the target. Did everyone understand the IBUS base 3D wiring? As demonstrated, IBUS base 3D wiring using a tip detection method enabled very precise guide wire manipulation in CTO PCI. We hope that the need for this CTO specific IBUS and the effectiveness of the tip detection method will become widely recognized. And the widespread adoption of this method will improve the success rate of CTO PCI all over the world. Thank you for watching.